Welcome back to the channel. As we all know, nowadays when you visit almost any website for the first time, you are prompted with some kind of banner saying that the site uses cookies and by continuing to use the site, you agree to this. Most of the time this is just annoying, but if you are using cookies, you must have this banner on your website. So in this video, I want to show you how to quickly and easily add this kind of banner to your own React application. So first of all, we don't need to reinvent the wheel and we can rather use this React cookie consent npm package, which does most of the heavy lifting for us. So first let's install it. I'll copy the install command here and switch to my Visual Studio code. And in my Visual Studio code, I just have a React application open, which I created two minutes ago with create React app. So let's paste in the install code, yarn add react cookie consent. Once that's run, let's fire up our dev server. Great, everything seems to be okay. So next let's add some code to add the banner to our application. I'll open up the app.js file and in here, I will import the cookie consent from React Cookie Consent. Then I'll scroll a bit down, and down here, I'll add the cookie consent component. And inside, I will type in the text that I want to show in the banner. Like this. Now, if I save this and flip back to the browser, and even if I refresh this, I don't see that banner yet. And that's because in development we need to add a debug prop for this component. So we'll do like this. So let's save this and now flip back to the browser and refresh the page. And we can see that down here is the banner with the text we defined and a button that says I understand. And if we click it, it goes away. That's how easy it is to add this kind of banner to your website. But most of the time we want to do some customizing for that banner. So let's look at that now. So let's say that we want to show a link for the privacy policy page inside the banner. We can do that by adding a normal link inside this component. So we could say something like see our privacy policy for more and we wanted this privacy policy to be a link so we can just add an a tag like this now let's flip back to the browser and check it out i refresh the page and we can see that we get the link it doesn't doesn't display very well now because of the colors but we get the link in the banner and if we click it it navigates to the slash privacy url one more thing I want to show you is how to customize this banner. So let's go back to the Visual Studio code and we can pass in some props that we can use to customize the banner. So first we can define a location for the banner. So if we want to display it on the top or on the bottom of the page. By default it's on the bottom as we saw. So if we want to display it on the top we can pass it top here and let's check it out. Now it's on the top of the page. Let's use the bottom though. Like this. Next, if we want to style it, we can do it with the style prop. And inside here, we can define, for example, a background color. Let's make it black, looking a bit better. And let's say we want to set the text on the left hand side. So we could use text align like this. And let's see. Yep, it looks good. Then we can also customize the button. This I understand button. So let's say we want to change the color and background for that too. We can do that with the button style. And let's say color is black and the background is 
white. And let's increase the font size a bit too. Let's say 14 pixels like this. Now let's save it and check it out. We can see that the button looks much better. One other thing that we might want to do is change the text in this button and that's easy to do also. We can do it with the button text prop. Let's change it to OK. Great. Save. Switch back to the browser and we can see that it works. One other thing that I should mention is the expires prop. So this can be used for setting how long the cookie is valid in days. So if we say, for example, expires 365, when user comes to the site and clicks the I understand button, the banner won't be shown for that user for one year. So that's pretty handy if you want to customize how often the banner is shown for the user. Okay, that's it for now. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.